Hey, welcome everyone to the Wells Tech Garage for this week's episode of CounterPoint. Today's CounterPoint, we're going to focus on an email that I had gotten from a longtime viewer, Bob from Hayward's Automotive, had a question and uh, was a little bit disappointed in a connector that he had bought, um, and he had some questions revolving around that. Now, this was pretty easily addressed over an email, but I figured, you know what, if Bob from Hayward's Automotive is having problems, chances are there's other people out there having problems too. We should do a video on this. So, Bob ordered up a connector part number 789 for his 2007 Chevy Aveo that he was working on for the cam sensor. Now when the connector showed up, everything looked great. It plugged right in, it had no issues, except for one thing. When he went to go connect this thing up and wire it together, he found that the orange and the blue wires were wired up inversely. If we look at the old connector that he has here, you can see on the right side of the connector, you find the orange wire, the middle is black, and the left side is blue. On our new connector, part number 789, you can see that the orange is on the left side and the blue on the right side. So this is what we have. All right, we got Bob's cam sensor and his 07 Aveo that he's working on. Here's our connector, the OE that's on the harness. You can see our signal wire comes in on the blue wire on the left side of the connector, our ground in the center, and battery positive on the right side on our orange wire. Here's part number 789. This is our new connector that Bob had purchased. And you can see we have orange, black, and blue. Colors match up. The problem is that these two are inverse. They're, they're swapped from where they're supposed to be. Now Bob thought this was a problem, and, and I'd have to agree with him. If I didn't know what I know already, I would agree that there's a problem. But all of our connectors that we sell, all of our pigtails, any connectors that you're gonna buy from us are going to be a universal style connector, okay? Word of caution, do not match up your wire colors, okay? I'll show you why. Let's take a look at our website, let's grab the parts catalog, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick search here on part number 789. As soon as this loads, you can see here's our connector, and you can tell according to this picture right here, orange on the left, blue on the right, this was wired up properly at the factory, this wasn't a mistake. But if we look at the buyer's guide here, you can see Alfa Romeo, BMW, Chrysler, Dodge, Eagle, Fiat, Hyundai, Isuzu, Jaguar, Kia, Land Rover, Porsche, Peugeot, Renault, Subaru, Volvo, Triumph, you can see that this is a universal connector for multiple makes and models. Now, Bob, it just so happens that you grabbed a connector for a vehicle that has the same color wires, but at this point, guys, I want you to treat every connector that we ship out, every connector that you buy from us, I want you to treat these wires like they're all the same color, like this part number here, they're all white, or this part number here, they're all black. Okay, that's the way we want to treat our connectors. We want to wire these things up by orientation, not by color. Because if Bob would have wired up orange to orange, he would now be sending from the vehicle harness side, battery positive comes up orange. If he was to connect this wire to here, if he was to go orange to orange, he would now be sending battery positive up the harness into the signal wire Remember, signals on the left side of our cam sensor, he'd be sending battery positive into the signal wire of the cam sensor. It's not gonna function right, okay? And inversely, if he was to connect blue to blue, and go over to here, now the wire that would be used for signal is actually going to be the battery positive wire. So the sensor's not gonna function properly. So what you gotta do is either one of, of two things here. You can, let's get this out of the way, you can go ahead and cut one wire at a time. You always want to, when you're replacing a connector, cut one wire at a time. So we're going to cut this one right here. Now you can wire blue on your harness side. You can connect that to the orange wire here, okay? So you're going to have the blue wire on the harness side going to the orange wire on the connector. It doesn't matter as long as they're in the same position. Pin number one, Pin number one, okay? So let's just label these out. We got one, two, and three. So now pin number one is going to pin number one. Yes, we have blue going to orange, and we'll have orange going over to blue if we cut that one and run it to there. But 
our vehicle harness is still connected to our connector properly. Now that's one way to do it, but what I would do and what Bob probably ended up doing with this is depinning the connector and flipping the wires around. It's not going to affect the function of it whatsoever. If you were to wire it up this way, it's going to function just fine because signals to signal, grounds to ground, and battery positive is to battery positive. That's great, but when you're fixing cars, you want them to look as um, original as possible, right? You don't want it to look like a, for lack of a better word, a hack job, right? So I would pull the, connect, uh, pull the harness apart, pull this connector apart, and I would swap the orange and the blue wire. So now our orange wire would be over on the right side and our blue wire would be on the left side, and then we would be able to hook blue from the harness to the blue wire of our connector and orange from the harness to the orange wire of the connector. Now that is just one example for an 07 Aveo with the 789 connector. They're not always going to be that way. Like I said, you sometimes will get all white wires or all black wires, or you order up this common Dodge connector and you'll get a whole bag full of wires here. All right, you can see we have green and we have purple with very different um, wire thickness, okay? Depending on what you're replacing, you're going to pin the connector accordingly, okay? The connector comes empty you're going to pin this connector according to whatever you're replacing because this connector fits on multiple vehicles, multiple makes for multiple different uses. So if it's a high current flow, high amperage circuit, obviously you're going to use the thicker wire. All you'll do is just look at your old connector. Did it have thick wire? Did it have thin wire? And then you're just going to wire it up accordingly. So we're going to ship connectors that are going to have all the same color wire. We're going to ship connectors that have varying diameters or, or gauge of wiring. I guess the moral of the story, guys, is to not trust the wire color. Always go off of orientation. And I'm not sure if the box that Bob had gotten came with an instruction sheet, but it does say right in the instruction sheet, when wiring a new pigtail connector, the replacement pigtail may come with different wire colors or wire orientation than the original connector on your vehicle. To position the wires in the correct location, line up the original connector with the replacement pigtail, making sure the locking tabs are parallel. Basically, line it up and do one at a time, right? Pin one goes to pin one, or the left side pin, the center pin to the center pin, and the right side, or pin three, goes to pin three, okay? That's gonna be how to properly orientate a new connector. No matter what wire color, no matter what wire gauge, you're always gonna wire it up that way. Don't just go off a of color. Don't match orange to orange, because you could end up creating a problem. You know, you could send voltage in the wrong place, potentially causing damage, okay? Always make sure you read your instruction sheet. This isn't just packing material. Read your instruction sheet and know that all of our connectors are going to be a universal style, okay? All right, so I think that's about it. Bob, I, I know I answered your question previously. I hope this video does justice for exactly what you were talking about on your uh, problem of your cam sensor on your Aveo. So I think that's going to be it for today, guys. If you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Check us out on social media, search for Wells Vehicle Electronics, or click the links that are down below in the description of the video. Also guys, come back in two weeks for the next CounterPoint episode where I'm gonna show you guys how to properly connect your connector, okay? So today we're talking about orientation. In two weeks for the next episode, we're gonna talk about actually wiring that up to your vehicle's harness. So make sure to join us back for that one in two weeks from now. Until then guys, have a great week and happy wrenching everyone. Thank you.